AWS SDK for JavaScript version 2 will be put into maintenance mode this year, which is 2023. This version 3 is available now and it is the default version for Node 18 if you try to create your Lambda function in AWS. There are various benefits of migrating from version 2 to version 3. Also, if you look at your screen, this is a document which I normally, fo normally follow from AWS documentation to migrate my code to SDK from JavaScript version V2 to V3. But there are still some quirks which I had to sort out from a lot of Google research and Stack Overflow, and I thought of sharing it with you. So before I delve into the code chunks which I have been using, let me show you a few of the benefits of migrating to this new SDK. The first one is the modularity. This is, I believe, one of the biggest benefit of migrating from JavaScript V2 to V3 because it will allow you to have more manageable code including what you require exactly. Another benefit is that you will have smaller package sizes as is shipped directly on the newer Lambda image. Another great thing is that now it has TypeScript support and then you can have a custom middleware stack to customize some of the SDK behavior. In all fairness, migration is not a rocket science, but still um, let me save you from some of the Googling. If you are using the code for um, uh, Lambda it, within your SDK, then you need to make these changes. So the top section is your older code, which is from V2, and the code which starts from line number eight is for the version V3. It might look a bit more, but if you look closely, it really lists down whatever you need to do and it looks cleaner and easier. Then if you are using S3, then you need to make these changes in your version three, which starts from line number eight again. You, you are getting the S3 client and then you are um, using your uh, lib storage and then you're specifying some of the options. Okay, and this example is for the parallel upload, by the way. Okay, then if you are using DynamoDB, then there are few more changes. But again, as you know, there are a lot of parameters for delete, scan, query, and uh, so on and so forth. And you can find it in AWS documentation. So all you need to do here is to use these commands in order to go from V2 to V3. So this is it. Uh, I believe this covers most of the use cases. I will also put the link to AWS documentation here so that you could read more. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.